Well, today we are celebrating what would be Melissa's 37th birthday on February 3rd. She was born on a really, really cold night. Went yeah. to the hospital yeah. and yeah. it was bitterly cold. Bitterly cold. I remember it was so cold I had to keep the camera inside my parka. You keep it warm up against my, up against my chest because the film would have freeze. That's back in the days, 1979, oh, yeah. when you actually had film in a camera. Many people watching this may not know what film is. But yeah. anyway, so I had to keep the camera close inside to keep the body heat from the film freezing. It was 37 below zero, I believe, it was with the wind chill factor, probably 22 below real temperature. It was Elbert Lee, Minnesota, and it was cold. Yeah, and she was just but, a little peanut. Mm -hmm. She weighed in at six pounds, seven yeah. and a half ounces, and she was just the sweetest little thing, mm -hmm. all, really all through her life. She and um, part of the reason why, obviously, we have our Slice of Heaven business is because of all the encouragement that Melissa gave right. me over the years. Right. And um, from the time she was little, I mean, she had, you know, she walked very young. She walked at nine and a half nine months, months. So, yeah. was, so she was fast there. And, and she had tea parties with her favorite little cousin, you know, Mike Reiser, mm -hmm. who they didn't see very often. Um, she cooked when Aunt Carol came to visit, and right. she was right up there at the table on the little step stool with, um, you know, the, the egg beater and right. beating up whatever it mm -hmm. was we were making. Making cakes, making desserts. She just loved to get in the kitchen, just like you did, I'm sure, when you were young like she was with your mom in the kitchen. And uh, like mother, like daughter. Bake, yeah, yeah. Ab absolutely. So, yeah. so um, part of her growing up was um, the fact that she wanted to believe in people. She wanted to give them hope. Mm -hmm. um, giving was a big part of, of what she was about, which is a big part of, hopefully she gained that from us and wanting to do things for people. Mm -hmm. And like my mother, I guess before me was always giving and in, in any time of need, you know, what would right. you do? You make some food. You make some food, make some cakes, make cookies, whatever it is that, right. that someone needed. She was there, your mother was always there to give right. to that person in need, so yeah. So as Melissa, you know, grew, um, birthdays were, were just a, a big deal in our house. I mean, we always had birthday cakes and homemade mm -hmm. cakes mm -hmm. and um, different decorated cakes in mm -hmm. the old days when I would make I had a the Betty Crocker recipe file, mm -hmm. and and there were lots of different you know cakes that I had made for the kids. Some were a little bit more elaborate than others. Right. So today we're going to make um, what actually I think I made for her last birthday, which when she was 24, and we also um, shared birthdays a lot with with Melissa, right. you know, whose birthday was the third, and Michael, Michael who's our youngest, January who's 28th. January 28th. So, so we kind of merge the two together oftentimes and and they'd have birthday cakes so at the all, same time often yeah because melissa you know for several years or it was gone off to college she was down in the university of wisconsin madison so she wasn't always around when michael who, who was having his birthday so she would come home for a weekend whenever that happened to land and we would do the two birthdays together so right so we had some photos to show that too. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one of her favorites which is an angel food cake mm -hmm. and we're going to cut off about a quarter, well, about a third of it and then we're going to hollow out the inside, okay. kind of make a well okay. and we're going to, um, we have chocolate pudding already made so we're right. going to fill in that well with the chocolate pudding okay. and we're going to make whipping or beet the whipping cream, cream and, and that's what we're going to frost, frost it with yeah. and then Excellent. we'll top it with some chocolate that we're going to grate, which actually came to us from Guatemala, from mm -hmm. Matthew, Matthew and, brought and it, Alana. Brought it home so. with, with them, and just if you want to see, we, we will grate this later as we finish up, but that's a shot of this one. You can tell we got into this one already, kind of half eaten it, but this is artisan cacao. Did I say that right? Cacao. Cacao. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, pure, 100% pure. Sometimes in a store you'll find that you get uh, 75 or 85 or 90% cacao. This is 100% and it, it is really bitter but really good. And that was one thing that Melissa really liked was fine chocolate, fine desserts. Right. Um, growing up I think we tried to fix you know, healthy meals for the kids and but I think as Melissa grew her, her tastes in different kinds of food I think her palate was 
was more sophisticated as, as she continued to get yeah. older. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so we're going to make some noise here, and yeah. I'm going to let you, you to that, just take you care of this. Cake? So I put, put in... the other way, not this way. Right. Ah. So I put in probably about three cups of, of whipping cream, and okay. we're going to beat that until it's quite stiff. And then we're going to add a little bit of sugar, powdered sugar. Okay. You can't add actually either powdered sugar or granulated mm -hmm. to give it, you know, a little bit of little sweetness. Little sweetness. And then okay. we'll ask, also put in about a teaspoon or so of vanilla. Okay. Okay. So how much powdered sugar when you get near the end? A, a teaspoon? couple of teaspoons. Couple of teaspoons. Yeah. yeah. All right. So all the way on high. All the way to high. All right. Got it. going to take a little while to beat that much. What do you think? For three minutes? Three or four minutes? Yeah. Something like that? Yep. So the larger the volume, the longer it takes? Right. Okay. Right. So as Gary is whipping the cream, I'm going to start taking out, to make this well, you can either use, you know, like a uh, little tongs like that, or you can just kind of rip it out with a fork or your fingers just to make the well. And you're going to put the pudding in next, right? Okay, so this is just an instant pudding. And you can tell them what you did to make this. All you do is take uh, the package of pudding and you, you, you take two, you can use 1%, 2%, I use skim, that's what we have in the house normally. Uh, two cups of skim milk or any milk that you have in your house and then you add the package to that you put you pour it into a, a stainless steel bowl mixing bowl or any bowl and just whisk it for a couple of minutes until it's all fully stirred and then you let it sit pour it into a, a bowl that you want to refrigerate like Ruth is holding and pour it in and let it set up probably four or five minutes in the refrigerator and it's ready to go and you can also use um just a, a beater, you know, the, the egg You'd need beater, a beater like this if, if you, you wanted, wanted or, or like that, or just right. an, an egg beater. But a, but whisk, just, a whisk, it's, mm -hmm. the key is just mix the, the powder and the milk together, which only takes a, a minute or two. And this was, was something that Melissa was always good at helping. She liked to be a helper and, and you know, no matter what I think I made, all of the kids have yeah, always, kids yeah, have there. always enjoyed, you know, helping, helping with uh, making. I think there's an ulterior motive, they, and they get that from me, and that is uh, cleaning up the bowl, licking the beaters, the spoons, or whatever. That's probably. Or so. they got it from you too, probably. Yeah. Okay. I think so. it's. I think it's a human nature thing. Okay. So as you that. can see, there will not be any extra to use on on the. Uh, the extra angel food, so you're just going right. to have to have it with fruit. Okay, now we just would need to yeah, put this back the way we had it. Like okay. Cut. Mm -hmm. And now we're just and now we're going, going to, to frost. Okay, and looks like you easy. hadn't even used it. So the next thing, I'm going to let you do the honors of grating some chocolate on this. Um, I also wanted to mention that when you're, well maybe I've mentioned this before, but when you are making whipped cream, you want to make sure that your whipping cream is, there's a little bit of paper right there, that your whipping cream is really, really cold, so you don't want to just have it sitting out, you know, for a long period of time. And, <coughs> and then you... Um, Sometimes you can even have your bowl can be in the freezer to make sure your bowl is nice and cold, mm -hmm. and that will also help. Okay. Um, so that you've got nice. What am I doing? Cream. Cream. Very nice. I'm getting kind of clumpy. I love that. Yeah. Can go down the sides too. There, there you sure. go. Sure. That looks great. Hold it. Not too, not too fast. I missed some of it over here. Okay. 
Okay, little, I think that's great. Make it a little, oops, a little Ooh. paper in there. So this is our, our cake, and um, in addition to fine desserts, uh, Melissa also liked her favorite wine was a red wine called Shiraz. Right. So we thought in honor and in memory of Melissa, we are going to dig into this cake and we're going to have a glass of wine to celebrate her birthday today. I think okay? that'd be a wonderful tribute. So I've got the table Let's do that. all set in okay. the dining room, so we're going to go in. Okay, so I'm going to let you pour some wine. Okay. We've never had this kind of wine before, but it's called layer cake. Yeah. So I thought, we yeah. thought that sounded kind of cool. Yeah, it's, it's made in Australia. And just the, the name kind of caught our eye when we were at the liquor store, the wine store the other day, and we saw a layer cake. Oh, talking about a cake, making a cake, having wine with cake. So let's. So it seemed appropriate. It seemed appropriate. Layer cake. Never having this before, we're going to test it out, see what it tastes like. And as we were, you know, kind of talking about some of the things that Melissa did, I mean, she was always, as I said, giving, wanting to give, um, having hope in people. She liked to surround herself by positive people. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, she also suffered from depression. So, you know, I think that was really a big reason why she needed to surround herself with positive people, right. you know. Um, but some of the, the positive things that she did in life were um, in hi after high school, she ended up applying for the, the Dairy Fest Ambassador Scholarship, which she ended up being the Dairy Fest yeah, Ambassador. She won that. And, and it was she, really fun because she enjoyed that a lot. we had not really participated that much ourselves in Dairy Fest activities. So it was fun going to almost everything, you know, that, that they had that weekend. Yeah, from Friday night right up and through Sunday evening at the American Legion. Right. Their, uh, their little dinner that they put on there. So, yeah, it was kind of fun. And it was really fun. And it was really fun watching the kids because, mm -hmm. you know, this princess and... Yeah. She's got her yeah, tiara really on and her ribbon and a, you know. across her, across her, uh, her chest. You know, ambassador, dairy fest ambassador. It was kind of neat, and uh, yeah, so it was, it was fun. And the kids, all the little, you know, first graders and younger kindergartners, were all kind of flocking around here in the parking lot or th at the fairgrounds or wherever she was. And it right. was kind of neat to see that. So yeah. She and then as I, kids. as we were talking about birthdays mm -hmm. being, um, you know, so uh, important in in our family. When, remember when she was turning 21? Mm -hmm. And I remember her calling me up and saying, hey, mom, you know, what are you, get, you and dad doing, you know, in two days or next week, whatever. Yeah. And, yeah. well, going to work. And she yeah. said, well, why don't you come to Madison and celebrate my birthday with me? Yeah. So that was really cool, memorable. You know, most 21 year olds probably don't want their, don't parents, want their parents necessarily parents. along. But she you know, had aunts and uncles and some of her first cousins. Yeah, her and favorite, one of her favorite aunts, her, you know, Aunt Margaret, yeah. who she <laughs> loved and is no longer with us, mm -hmm. you know, today, you know, too, was, right. was able to come. And so it was just a really fun a celebration. Fun. And, and then after that, um, she, you know, had, had also, I think, with her depression, ended up kind of changing what she wanted to do in life mm -hmm. with, with college and made different you know, changes along the way, but always wanted to help women and children, mm -hmm. um, something in, in the health profession. So when she became a massage therapist, you know, that was also um, kind of fit right into helping people and um, a big part of, yeah. of her life. Mm -hmm. and, and at one point also, her talking about wanting to open up a clinic with her right. best friend, Jessie Gosh, right. who's a nurse now, but but I think she, um, she did a lot for a young woman of 24 years old, mm -hmm. and her uh, life ended way too, way too, too early soon. In life. Yeah. But, um, but we certainly gained a lot you know, from her and with her hope and giving attitude. So that's what we're doing now is continuing to, to right. live a life that she would be you know, happy for. And I know she'd be happy knowing that what we're doing is this fun business and of making desserts, one of her favorite yeah, things. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, Let's I'm have some cake. into this cake. Yeah. And I know she would love it if she were here. This is lunch today, right? Sure. Lunch after the soup I had? That's true, yeah. Okay, yeah. so here we go. I, I need a I need I a plate. Had a little bit. I need a plate. Okay. Okay, Thanks. first we're Let's going to take a bite of the cake. Mm. 
And what I like about angel food is it's just kind of light. Mm. And even mm -hmm. after you've had a big dinner, mm -hmm. you know, when you have, you know, a, a piece well. of angel food, it's not yeah. as filling. Right. Very yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so here's to Melissa. Happy birthday, Happy birthday in, in heaven. And from a slice of heaven and cooking with Ruth and Gary. Until next time, happy cooking. Sorry. That's what you do when you want to get the excess cream off. Can't take me anywhere. I know. I agree.